Number eight, strict enforcement of the dress code, including facial hair and hair. Why are we watching videos on Facebook officers in our groups and they're saying, who do these inmates belong to? Inmates running around in various stages of dress, these privatized clothes, I talked about, stop letting them buy them. Beards that are over an inch beyond policy, half inch, whatever you want. Hair, long hair, beaded dreads, whatever, spiked up hair. This is not a beauty salon. This is not a country club. It is a prison. Enforce the dress code, stop the nonsense. Enforcement of the dress code starts with the officers, backed by the sergeant who is backed by the shift commanders. One of the ways, one of the tools we used down in Georgia, cell searches. The state issued uniforms. If they were altered, any gang signs, anything wrote on them, we took them. If the stitching on the side of the pants were torn and it wasn't, you know, factory quality, we took it. Without the state uniform, they could not go to the chow hall. It's not rocket science. It didn't take very long for them to figure out. We need to have a uniform, a clean uniform, not all marked up, not torn and altered, so that we can eat. Use that as a tool. On the CERT team, sometimes we had to help the uniforms to be in a certain condition. When they started it, we would finish it. Like the stripes coming off the pants. They want to cut little holes so they can hide contraband. The whole stripe came off. Pants weren't serviceable. We took it. See what I'm saying? Is there any creativity left? Maybe I'll do a video on creativity.